Good morning. How are we all doing today? So, my name is Sarah Parkinson. I'm a children's author and illustrator. I've written two books, The Shoe Foxes and Dragonfly Pie, and I have done the pictures in them as well. Um, so I'm hoping um, you will in, um, enjoy my session today. I'll be running storybook um, writing and drawing workshops every Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday at 10, Thursdays at 12, mm. while we're all at home. So who have we got with us today? Ready for Magical High Street Week. How are we doing today? Oh, we've got Marianne on. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Ronnie. Oh, I've got no comments on Facebook yet. Facebook is not my friend at the moment. Come on, comments. Come on, Facebook. We've got a love here. Oh, no, why aren't my comments appearing? Oh, here we go. Thank goodness. Phew. There we go. Alina and Mila. Must be a problem then. Phew. Uh, Alina and Mila. Hello. Hello, Sophia. Oh, nice. Nice to see you. Hello, everybody. Oh, let's give everyone a bit of a moment or two to get on. Grown ups, get yourselves a cup of tea. Kids, you're going to need some pen. Well, pens and paper for making notes for, for the story writing session. And at the end, we're going to learn how to draw. <laughs> don't know how you feel about this a pigeon but there's a pigeon in my story today so you will want to draw a pigeon at the end oh we can't open on facebook that's disappointing is everybody else okay on facebook might just mean need a reopening Re try yeah, closing closing up and reopening again but or, or, or instagram's just as good just can't swipe away the comments that's the only thing when, when we're doing the drawing but Let's have a look. Hello, Harriet. Hi, Hayley. Who else have we got? We've got Alex, Louie and Zoe. We've got Ethan. We've got loads of comments coming through now. They all burst through the door. Amelia and Sophie. Caitlin. Hello. So Amelia's six and Sophie's five. Sophia. Sorry, darling. Um, got Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, Ethan. Hi, Owen. Nice to see you. Who else have we got? We've got Amelia, we've got Harriet, we've got Jessica, Jessica Near Dudley, who's just made a parrot squawk for school. Ooh, squawk. <laughs> That's a great name for a parrot. Oh, hello, Katie. Hi, Bella. Oh, hi, Sophie. Oh, got itchy nose today. Oh, I'm excited to draw a pigeon, Cora. Good, good, got a nice pigeon. Today, I'm not going to be using the whiteboard today. I'm going to be using a piece of paper because I don't have a grey marker. I need to have a grey, don't I, if, I uh, if I'm if i doing a pigeon. Hello, Laura. Oh, lovely. Hi, Ben and Alex. Hi. Hello, everybody. Right. Oh, my dad's on. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hello, Lucy and Ellen. Oh, lovely to see you. Oh, the girls love their shout outs. I'm glad they do. I do try and read everybody out that I see. Oh, good, Sarah. You Good job. You've got a cup of tea. Got to get it sorted, haven't you? Got to take the time while you can, don't you? So everybody get comfy. Oh, what are we going to do today? So, Magical High Street Week. It's going to be... Now, you, you do whatever you want with your story and see, we'll see where it takes you from today. I think we might have a bit of a mixed bag today, I think. We'll see how we go. I think drawing tomorrow is going to be interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh, lovely. Um, so, Magical High Street Week. Now, I don't know if you've noticed on my post, there's a lot of rainbows going on. I find rainbow, rainbows quite magical. I don't know about you. Um, rainbows and how they just appear in the sky just out of nowhere and they're so pretty aren't they you, you like it, it's very rare that you see something appearing so with so many colors and so beautiful and so big so everybody can see so i thought that was a good a good reason to have some good rainbows i do love i, I love color i don't know if you noticed <laughs> but i think that that would be a lovely lovely thing 
to tie all of our magic together, all of our magical high street. So, um, we'll find out more about my theme in a moment, but going, uh, keeping with rainbows, let's start with our warm up exercise. So, older kids, you might just have to just kind of be patient with me a minute because this is just to kind of get everybody thinking and using their eyes and their ears and listening to what everybody's doing. So if you're older, that's absolutely fine. Just be patient for this bit. We'll get to the nitty gritty and the fun bits in a moment. Well, this is fun as well. I might join in. I think grown-ups enjoy joining in on this bit. Oh, Yusuf's watching. Hello, Yusuf. Oh, lovely. Hello, Jamie. Oh, Sophie says you have pretty hair. Thanks. Got a little skip in my step now. <laughs> right, okay. So, today's little warm-up exercise is, I want you to either look in the room behind me or look around your rooms and we are going to find something red. Can you find anything red? Now, maybe there's something red behind me. Maybe you remember that from last week, a little red something in the background there. There's also, of course, that the colours look different on different screens, so I hope things will come out the right colour. Can you see anything red? Okay, you don't have to type it. It's okay. Look, for, look around the room for something red. Okay. Can you imagine what's going to come next? Maybe the older ones know what's going to come next. Can you see anything orange? <laughs> Can you see things around your room? Maybe you have lots of colours in your room that you've never even seen before. Look for things that are orange around your room. Your book. Ooh, lovely. Nice orange book. I've got an orange book too. Oh, is that coming out the right way? Bring it upside down. I think that's completely normal. <gasps> lovely. Can you see anything? So do we know what comes next? So it's I Do It by Richard of York gave battle in vain. Red, orange, yellow for York. So can you see anything yellow around your room? It makes you look around your room and see different things that you might not have seen before. Maybe. Grown-ups, it probably brings up something that you think you probably should do or tidy. That's what I did when I was, when I was doing this exercise in my living room this morning. <laughs> Can you see anything yellow? Okay, so Richard of York. Can you see anything green? Oh, something orange up at the top of your bookshelf. That's right. Well, there's an orange balloon. There's an, well, you could say orange fox. Is it orange? Orange? A couple of foxes. Maybe you've spotted the yellow shoes. <laughs> Made some bookshelves. <laughs> Green mug, yay! You win a prize. <laughs> spotting a changed mug colours. Oh, okay. So G gave ba 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 ba. Blue. So can we see anything blue? Can we see the front cover of one of my books? Can we see... Can you see anything in your rooms? It's a good little, a good little exercise just to get you noticing all the different colours. And then we're just going to do purple for this one because it's indigo and violet but in my eyes a lot of the time they end up looking very much the same. <laughs> Indigo and violet, so that's purple, isn't it? Can you see anything purple? I've got something purple here, but you probably can't see it very well on the screen. I can't see it very well on my screen. I like bringing out this butterfly because it looks very magical, doesn't he? He's twisting a bit now. Lovely. Picture. Mmm. -hmm. Picture's more 
bluey, I think, unless you're answering for the blue. But still, very good. Nice spotting of all these colours. Lovely. So, now that we've kind of got ourselves thinking about different colours that are around us. <laughs> now we've got thinking about different colours that are around us. We're going to have a little look down Magical High Street now. So you can sit back and relax. Parents, make sure you've got your cups of tea. We'll just have a little, you can close your eyes to get into story time or you can watch me, that's fine. I'm just going to be here. Okay, you ready? Oh, you can't hear very well. I need to speak up. That's not, that's very rare that I hear that because I've got a very loud mouth. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Lovely. Okay, so on to our story or watching or listening. Or close your eyes if you prefer. In fact, this one is a good one for closing your eyes for. I recommend it. Are you ready? So close your eyes. And splash! You land in a very big puddle in the middle of a busy high street. And the bad news is that you're wearing the wrong kind of shoes for puddle splashing. Oh dear. You feel the cold, wet, grimy puddle water seep through your socks and into your shoes. Your mum and dad are close by, looking in at a shop window and you don't want to own up to them that you've gone and got your feet all wet and cold. Oh dear. Awkwardly, you give one of your shoes a sneaky shake to try and get rid of some of the water sloshing around in there. And you hear a voice cry out, Oi! What's the meaning of this then? You look around, but nobody's looking at you. You look down and you see a, sport, a little tiny pigeon <laughs> shaking out his feathers at you. She looks up. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Do you know how long it took me to brush out these feathers this morning? I'm not like other scruffy birds, you know. Very posh. Oh, I'm sorry. You stutter as you take in this very upset bird. You could indeed tell that she wasn't like your ordinary high street pigeon with her silvery feathers gleaming with a glowing sheen of pink and green. No one else seems to notice that the pigeon is talking. All the shoppers walk past quickly, ignoring what's going on around them, busy with their day. Is there anything I can do? You ask, as you adjust to the fact that you're speaking to a pigeon. She seems to have calmed down and looks at you with pity. Ah, uh, I think the question is, can I help you? You have some wet socks and shoes that need dealing with. Hang on, I can't hear myself think. She taps her feet together in the air and all of a sudden the street is completely still. <gasps> Time has stopped. <sighs> you go up at the adults all frozen like statues around you. <gasps> going on? Oh, I'm sorry, didn't you know we were on a magical street? You shake your head. No. Most people don't tend to stop and take it in. Everyone is busy going about their business. You just need to know where to look. A magical street? Don't believe me, love. You're talking to a pigeon. She had you there. You look around and you see it. A toy shop across the street. The toys were all looking at each other. 
One Barbie wobbles on one leg oh, and falls over. In the window display, the others wince as they hope she didn't hurt herself. Ooh. Next to the toy shop, there is a florist. There's a shop with beautiful flowers and bluebells and daisies all nodding their heads and dancing to some catchy music. And it's a catchy tune that's being played out into the streets. But it's by a little band of ants just next to the shop. Well, all the magical items can be brilliant, says the pigeon, but they can also get you into trouble. So stay close and follow me. What do you think? What do you think could be happening on this magical high street? What could be happening? Let's see. Oh, let's see. Nicky's an end then there. I don't like pigeons much, but that one is hilarious, says Cora. Oh, I'm glad you like my pigeon, Cora. Oh, I'll be drawing a little bit today at the end of the session, Nikki, and then I'll be doing a big drawing session tomorrow. So at the end of today, we're going to draw a magical pigeon that was just in my story. And um, tomorrow it'll be the drawing request workshop. So everyone start thinking about what is, what would make a magical high street. Mm. So that starts us off with... Ba -da. Ba, 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 da. Don't know why I feel the need to do the music, but here it is. Ba, da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. It's time to have a look at our beginnings. So, what do we figure out in our beginnings? Any regulars remember? We look at our where and our who. So we're setting the scene, aren't we? So I think a good place to start with our magical high street is where. So let me get you thinking. Get the little cogs going. So, um, we want to be thinking about where the magic is hiding. So if you're going on your normal high street where there might be some clothes shops or a toy shop or a fancy dress shop or a jewellery shop or all sorts of different shops, maybe, 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 oh, like... I know that some people watching have mums that, or mums or dads perhaps, that, that uh, make clothes. Maybe you go into sewing and material shops a lot. Maybe you go into a cafe. What could be magical in each of those places? What could you buy? What could you see? So let's start with the place where you're all probably, you probably all get dragged around to, is a clothes shop. So maybe you have a scarf, your mum looks at a scarf and it gives you, maybe it makes you invisible. Maybe you have a headband that makes you read minds. Maybe you can hear people's thoughts. Maybe in that shop there are sunglasses. What can the sunglasses make you to help you do? What can be magical that could happen to those sunglasses? Could you the x-ray sunglasses, special ones or ones that make you see, make you see other magic in other places like on my magical high street, like making, because when time stopped the magic didn't stop, all the, all the things that were normal and not seeing all the magic, they stopped, but the magic kept going didn't it, it's interesting isn't it? What else? Maybe in, so maybe it's a toy shop, like in Toy Story, but it's a toy shop. Maybe just like a small toy shop. Maybe it's a big, like, maybe it's the toy aisle on your supermarket. <laughs> what, 
what could happen how could they play with each other could they um could they be friends are they not not friends why aren't they friends got characters all there aren't haven't you if you look in your toy boxes and things on your shelves at home and you can maybe think and see what could be ex an exciting story just from that maybe you thought toys you know there's loads more they could have done in toy story that you haven't thought of oh what else is there um jewelry so i've got a jewel a a butterfly necklace on today can you see it maybe there's some maybe this necklace can turn me into a butterfly when I touch it and then I can float off into the sky what would happen what could I do maybe it's now a fancy dress shop now maybe you've got a fancy dress shop in your on your high street where there's lots of different fancy dress clothes to try on. So think about what could be on your, have you, maybe the grown-ups have heard of Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben used to go into, uh, I think he used to go into his, into his fancy dress shop, try on a, try on a fancy dress outfit and in the changing rooms and then go on an adventure. So maybe that will happen. Think. What else could happen? Maybe so it could be so could go back on that one. So maybe he goes, he changes, turns into a, he puts on a pirate costume, goes into the changing room, and he turns it, and he goes on a pirate adventure in the changing room. It's an it's an idea that's already been done by Mr. Ben many years ago, but there's different costumes now, aren't there? There's different stories that could be told now. Why not? Hmm. Let's have a look. A magic wand that blows fairy dust, says Daniel. Ooh, lovely. <sighs> magical wand. Where would the magical, if, will it be in a shop? Where could it be? Maybe it's hiding. Maybe the magic wands are in your arts and crafts shops and people just don't see it because they're so busy and they're looking for pens and papers, but then there's like a, a wand section that nobody else sees. You go and try out the different wands, like in Harry Potter. <sighs> Magical sweet shop. <sighs> Ooh, that's a good idea, isn't it? What could happen with your magical sweet shop? Could all the magical, all the different sweets do different things? Mmm, maybe they, uh, maybe they can turn you into something. Maybe they can make you go run really fast. What other ones could we have? Oh, my book is called The Magical School. Oh, love that idea. Is that, is, who, who's that from, Sarah? Tell me. Um, a, a chocolate shop that is never ending chocolate. I think that's chocolate. I think, oh, I love that idea. I'd go to that shop. I'd be there in a flash. Oh, from Isla. Is that Emma? Oh, yes, from Emma, after the chocolate shop. Mm, good idea, Isla. I love that. Ooh, what else? So get, get yourself thinking about your shops and the different things you could be doing. Could you be having lunch? Could you be going to get your eyes tested? Maybe there's something in the glasses. Maybe so many different things you could do. I could do this for a couple of weeks, this one, couldn't I? Could come up with tons of stories. So... Who are you going with? Are you, are you in, are you, when you go to your magical high street and there's these magical products on the shelves or these magical shops that you go into, are you with anybody or are you by yourself? Have, is your pet with you? Have you made a character so far that you would like to take with you? Maybe Cora would like to take her cat. Maybe there's a magical creature. Maybe you're taking a unicorn with you. Maybe you see a unicorn. Can't believe I'm the first person to bring up unicorns. <laughs> Let's get thinking. Oh, Charlotte is writing about a magic shop where she buys a potion to make her toys come to life. What could happen if all your toys came to life if you gave them a special magic potion? What could they be like? 
That's exciting. Ooh, love these ideas. I love these ideas. Lou wants to write about a sweet shop where the sweets come alive. Ooh, I love it. Is it a bit like Beauty and the Beast? Like be our guest. The old dancing. You have to tell me, you have to show me. Have to draw some sweets maybe tomorrow. Maybe that's going to be your drawing request. Ooh. Magic pants that make you run fast. Fantastic. Absolutely. I love that. <gasps> magic pants. Oh. Mm, magic trousers. I don't know if pants are trousers. Um, <laughs> um, or magic trousers that make you grow really tall. <sighs> or what else could you have? What else could you have? Oh, let's see, let's see. Um, so, have I got any other ideas written down? So, um, I love the idea of the sewing shop and ribbons and things. Maybe all the material comes to life. Maybe all the, like, all the pictures on the materials will come to life as well and start talking. What else could you have? So, in a cafe, maybe in milkshakes and cakes and hot chocolates and chips. Maybe they all do different things. Maybe, maybe we shrink down again like we did in Garden Adventures. Let's have a look. Um, I made a new character. His name is Gudatamu. Ooh, I love it. I hope I said that right. Um, a squishy. He's so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Has he got big eyes? Let's have a look. Alex is thinking of a magic football. Ooh, I like that idea. So maybe it's a sports shop. So you go into the sports shop and you find a magic football. What mad, what adventures could you go on? What could you do? To tell me, Zoe wants a magic teddy shop. Oh, lovely. Go and see all the teddies. Can you go for a teddy bear's picnic? I'm always going for a teddy bear's picnic, let's be honest. Who isn't? Or an afternoon tea. Right, so... Think about that, think about your shop name maybe, maybe the sh name of the shop is something, doesn't have to be, just whatever you want it to be, it could be all about the shop, it could be all about the things in the shop, you decide. Uh, maybe you want to think about how you've, you've come across the shop, like with me, maybe you got introduced to the magic, or maybe you just found it, you just came across it because you were looking. Oh, let's see. So... We've done our beginning, so we want to be thinking about our middles, which we are. What's my middles? Oh, goodness, oh, he's there. <gasps> Middle. So think about what we're having in the middle of our story. We've set up the where and the who. Think about what happens. Da, 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 da. So what happens? Where do they go? What do they do? How do they... How do they come across it? They come across an adventure. Do they go for some lunch. Do they go for something to eat. Do we see some? Do we? Do they meet your parents? Do they meet your pets? Do you? If you find a magical, so a magical football, maybe it's a special one that can mean that you can do lots of kick. What are they called? Kick ups. Whether you can uh, keep bouncing it on your knees. Knee ups. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Not a football person, but can it stays in the air? And you can keep bouncing it on your shoulders and your head, doing headers and putting it on your feet. Let's have a think. Oh, let's see. Uh, Amelia's story is about when she goes to a cleaning store. Ooh, and she sees an old broom that is actually a long lost witch's broom. And it takes her where, wherever she wants. Oh, that's lovely. I love that. Where could you go? Like a magic carpet ride, but with a broom. Let's see. Oh, he's really lazy, Cora. It says Cora. Oh, and really funny, just sitting and moving slow, but then BAM! <laughs> he speeds up. Still from Cora. Oh, lovely. Oh, I love the idea of this and this new character, Cora. Uh, Danny's story is called Cool Things. Nice, nice. <laughs> very, very good. Okay, so let's get thinking about um so we've done our middles maybe you need to start asking yourself and i keep forgetting to say this one great way to be able to think about the middles is if you start asking starting starting and asking yourself what if 
So what if, that's what I do a lot with them, I'm coming up with my stories. So what if, what could happen? Damn, we still have this fucking look back. So what if the teddies all came alive in the teddy shop? What if, Ooh, let's see. What if those magic pants that make you run fast get out of control and you can't stop running? What if, let's, oh, oh, I missed the comic strip. Oh yes, do a comic strip, uh, Cora. I love the idea of that. Um, what if the chocolate shop that has a never-ending supply of chocolate gets out of control and produces so much chocolate that it fills up? <gasps> and it spills out into a street in a chocolate river. So, so if you start asking the question, what if, you can start coming up with some very interesting ideas. What if? I have it written on my wall. Helps. Get some questions, think, get thinking of some questions. So then, with your ending, you just want to make sure that, so we'll get our ending picture. Oh gosh, my ending picture's gone a bit doolally. Let's get thinking about our endings and how our stories are gonna finish and our last page, where are you gonna leave it? Where are you, are you gonna leave people hanging? What's gonna happen? Or is it going to all end happily ever after? Are you going to remember that you saw the magical thing? Will you see the magical thing again? Will you go back into the magical shop and keep visiting them? Will you visit, this? maybe it's a toy shop, maybe you'll keep visiting them, even when you're old? Oh, an enchanted picnic rug. Love that idea. Love that idea. Where does it take you? So you go and sit down and have a what do you what what is it that makes it change is it just all of a sudden as soon as everybody sat down it transports you to another place i have to have a think <sighs> so whilst we've got the younger ones maybe thinking of endings um older ones um this is a good time to start thinking of some different starts to your sentences so you know how i said what if and it's and you finish off the sentence with something else it's a really good way if you have sentence starters Either. Well, they're easier to be called sentence starters. There's a scary word that's that parents are scared of, <laughs> which I know some of the older kids of uh, the older, older ones have been doing maybe in years three and four. Um, hunted adverbials. <coughs> <coughs> sentence starters. So maybe it's afterwards. Afterwards, we all went and had a lovely tea in our picnic and our picnic rug or maybe bravely just little words that can start you thinking about the, what the next bit of the sentence could be so like I said this is one for the older ones to be thinking about or as quick as a flash what happens Maybe it's something that says about that time of day. So like, on Tuesday, something else happened. What else happened? Or maybe it's something about, ooh. Well, we, do, we always like the ones that bring about something exciting happen next, don't we? So we like suddenly, I like suddenly. Suddenly, what happens? Or silently we crept into the next room oh let's have a look uh let's have a look let's have a look let's have a look uh then amelia wishes to go to a small town and she shrinks but she can't get big again oh goodness me like alice in wonderland she needs to find the right potion doesn't she will you be doing a birthday week for the stories cora says cora well, <laughs> I'll answer. I'll, I'll answer that one at the end. I'll answer that one at the end. My favourite is suddenly too, so Cora. See, mm. it's a good one, isn't it? It's like, <gasps> what happens next? So now we've got thinking about what our what our um, story is going to look like. 
Um, I want to draw a pigeon with you now. Now, for my pigeon, uh, uh, uh. oh, I'm going to turn you around, but you're going to see a piece of paper taped up to my white blood today because in my colours I have not got a grey, have I? And I don't think we can do a black pigeon. We possibly could have done a blue pigeon thinking about it, but I don't know, it's quite a dark blue. So I'm going to be brave and use my markers. But this does mean that I cannot rub it out. So fingers crossed it all goes to plan. You have to cross your fingers for me. So let's see if we're ready to start drawing a nice pigeon. Make sure you're all ready. And we'll start. Let's see. Start with our nice eye. The way that we'll do that, draw a circle. If you can see my little teeny tiny circle, because it's only they're, they're only um, only have small eyes pigeons, don't they? So I can't draw a big big massive one this time. But with our, oops, got to be careful now that I don't mix up my pens. Anyone who's new to my uh, to my workshops. Peel you back. If you draw a circle and then two circles inside and then colour around the outside. But better than that, colour it all in around those circles. Then you've got a nice glittering eye and I'll show it you properly in a second. Okay. Of course, now that's decided to start coming loose. Give me a second. Oh, my easel's not on properly either. There we go. There we go. So, I'm drawing very, very small. A little glint in the eye. I hope you can see it. It's probably not. <laughs> And then we're going to draw a little beak. Now the way that the beak's going to be drawn with our pigeon, it's going to look a little bit like an ice cream and I'll explain here. So if you see, you see where the, where the circle of the eye is? If you think of it, um, we'll need to draw our beak pointing away from that eye, okay? I just draw like that. There we go. Next up, I'm getting my black out again. Gosh, I need to really focus. I'm not using the wrong ones. And we're going to make it look like an ice cream. I'm just going to draw a black line around this. And that's going to make sense in a second by drawing a kind of white top, just a little like a sausage shape on top. <laughs> Only small really. And again, you don't have to do that bit if you don't want to. Now, if you've got pencils, this would be a very good time to get um, just a normal pencil out for your gray. And if you follow along with me, going to draw the top of the head. Can you see where I'm drawing an imaginary line there? We'll draw the top of the head and the body's going to go right the way back here with a wing and some tail feathers and some feet. So let's draw our head. See? That's going to do a thicker line. Stick with the thin one as I've started. Okay, then we're going to draw down the neck and down the back of the body. Can you see? Let's have a look. Oh, Charlotte's toys have come to life, put music on, played and baked a rainbow cake. Oh, that sounds amazing. 
Charlotte, your, to your toys sound so, so cool. I want to hang out with those toys. Absolutely. Uh, a pigeon has just hopped on our fence. Oh, that's brilliant, Nikki. Oh, who else have we got? Uh, so the pigeon has got golden wings. Ooh. That would be magic, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Sorry, Instagram, if you've not been able to see the beak. There you go. There we go. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> okay. So next, 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 next. We're going to draw some... Well, we'll start with the wing round here and it will join up with the back of the wing here. Does that make any sense? <laughs> this is all one big wing. So the way I know where to kind of start and finish things, I'm going to have our wing go up to here and I tend to have it curving around this way. So if you watch me first, it's like a big curly cut. like that you see lovely okay then we are going to draw uh, let's see let's see let's see I'm going to change to a thicker marker now because it just makes more sense I'm going to draw some tail feathers you ready like that. So they're kind of like, oh, I'm trying to think the best way to describe that really. <laughs> what do you think? Christmas tree maybe? Choo, 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 choo. Just an extra added bit on the end because they have the tail sticking out a bit don't they as well as their wing. You don't tend to see that as much on uh, some other birds. <laughs> okay, so we've got that part. We're going to start now on our the front of our pigeon, old pidge. I'm just going to follow the neck down. So it will go in a teeny bit, down, and then out a teeny bit. You see? And then we're going to follow this line right underneath and meet up with the tail feathers. See how you do with this one. I was a bit stuck on what to do for the drawing session today. Pigeon was the best I could come up with. <laughs> okay. So we've got the shapes here, haven't we? Let's get some... Uh, Little legs, and I'm going to use the orange on my legs, I think. Let's get our little legs drawn on. So you can just do it the simple way of just like little sticks. I'm going to do a kind of in betweeny one. And they go down, like little sticks, and then have one little claw coming out of the back. I think it's three coming out the front, maybe two. I'm doing it as three, it might be a mistake. <laughs> and there's our front one. So they can hang on to things, can't they? And sit on fences and hang on. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed on pigeons, but they're not just grey, are they? They've got this beautiful like I describe in my story, they've got a beautiful sheen of purple and green around their necks, haven't they? And wouldn't it be lovely if we could manage to get that across? Now it is a bit tricky, but if you keep it in the right places, it works out quite well. So let's draw a little bit of purpliness at the front of the neck here. Now, I should say that I've got very good markers that I've had 
since I was at college and you spend a bit of money on these so they end up coming all the, coming together all nicely with the doesn't really show much in the way of marks Ooh. so it looks quite pretty for me I don't have any other markers than this otherwise I would have done it with yours let's do some green as well can you see so if you imagine the can you see my little line of where following the circle round so I've kind of made it go along that circle the fact is however it turns out with yours I'm sure will look absolutely lovely okay so it's colouring we also need as well we have some little bits here Oh, my pigeon is so cute, says Cora. Lovely. Oh, I'm so glad you're pleased with your pigeon. Now, on the wings, I'm going to do this with black. If you want to do this in a, in a pencil first and see how it how it looks, we're going to draw. Um, let's see. It's going to be a bit like, a, you know, when you draw the C? Make sure I swap to the right pens. Ah, where's my black one? You know when you draw the C? Can you see at the top here? You do this, don't you? That's what we're going to do on these wings. Ready? Let me show, let me show you. Just three little waves. And then we're going to do another one on top. This is just going to show the feathers, the edges of the feathers. And then one more. One, two, and then I'm going to put a little bit of black on the bottoms here. This is a bit of a fancy pigeon, I'm not going to lie to you. I really would love to see what some of you have managed to do. I want to see your pigeons. I'm going to colour my pigeon in. I've managed to colour in the little white bit on the eye, of course. Whoopsies! But I'll tell you what, it's nice having my pens. Not those uh, dry white markers. you think? Let's get some colouring in. And if it hasn't turned out right first time, don't worry. That's absolutely fine. You can try it, you can try either try again or you can try drawing something else, it doesn't matter. Does it? And then, what shall we do with this bit, shall we? Colouring all the rest of my uh, pigeon, because I think he's alright there, isn't he? Ooh. Yes, I have got special pens. Make mine look extra, extra. Maybe you can do it with some paints. How have you all been getting on? Right, so I'll leave it on the screen a little bit longer whilst I just uh, do my little talking. Um, so I was thinking, so my birthday is, um, oh gosh, the beginning of July. I was thinking I might just see how things go and um, either I'll do an extra you know if, if everyone's all back at school then uh, we'll uh, we, I'll do a little bonus getting everyone together again story time for my birthday um, and I thought we'd do that and see how we how we go and if we're still doing these then we're still doing these I'm still here for you doing drawings and painting and uh, writing stories with you so, uh, grown-ups, uh, remember we've got a drawing workshop tomorrow at 12 o'clock, so get me your uh, picture requests by 8 o'clock tonight. Um, and then I can get my picturing, I'll get, to get together what I'm going to do. I'll be back to my whiteboard. 
to my trusty whiteboard. I was a little bit nervous about doing this without a, without the ability to rub things out, but it seems to have gone okay, thankfully. Oof. Um, and what else? Um, I might post up a picture of uh, the sentence starters as well for you to uh, for the older ones because they um, with a from a site called Twinkle, which um, has put that put together a really nice list of them. Um, to get the kids thinking about different ways that they can start the sentence. So I'll, I'll pop that up um, right after this. Just pop it up as a little picture. Um, so I'll do that for you. On Instagram, I'll put it on my stories. Um, uh, what else? What else? Um, I'll also post up the picture thread as well so you can start posting up your pictures. Please put keep your pictures to the picture thread because otherwise I'll miss it. <laughs> and I'm, I, it does make me upset when I miss the, when I miss them. I feel, I feel awful if, if I miss any pictures. But I've got to make sure I spend time with my family and things as well. So um, I try and keep up with everything as best I can and respond to everybody and uh, and get to get to see everyone's drawings. So um, very exciting. Let's see. Oh, your mum's is it is it Amani's birthday today or is it your your mum's birthday today, Amani? Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you all here today. It has been absolutely lovely. Love to see some magical stories, what you can come up with. I know we've got some very inventive people watching. So um, I'll also say as well, if maybe if then any drawings haven't turned out as well, I'll get out my old topic book. Look, I know it's all backwards, but it says Sarah Parkinson topic book. And we can have a look if there's any that I've not shown you yet. Let's have a look. There's a lot of me colouring in a robot. Oh, what's this one? Uh, we've got <laughs> okay, so that's that's a that's a plant. Well, how old am I here? This is it ninety? So I can't think now. This is seven. Is that right? So six. Sorry. <laughs> and um, we've got a plant. We've got. I think a conquer, I think that is. Mum, can you remember this one? <laughs> uh, we've got me drawing a stickle brick and a pot and I don't know what that is. It was very good though, my teacher said, so that's good. So there you go. It just goes to show, doesn't it? Everyone starts off at different levels, don't they? And we all just, does, it just takes lots of practice and enjoying what you're doing to be able to get the most out of it, doesn't it? So yes, please, um, you can also catch up on Instagram, catch up, catch up on YouTube, so you can hopefully um, get your uh, get my videos up on the TV screen, freeze up your devices if you want to be able to do something on your own phone or anything, um, and you can manage to enjoy um, enjoy the workshops at any time. So it doesn't have to be live with me, but we all know it's a bit more fun live, isn't it? Better to be able to comment live. Lovely. Oh, thank you very much, Linda. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get some big waves, everybody. I'm gonna say goodbye. Very, very lovely to see you today. I had such a lovely time, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you want me to draw you tomorrow for 12 o'clock. <gasps> What's it gonna be? Say big byes. Bye, everybody.